Welcome to Knife Chats. If you like what you see, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, share it with friends, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. Thank you. Yep, time to talk about the P38. I guess it's not a knife, but I do think it's a multi-tool. And that's why I'm throwing it in there with my micro multi-tools. Now, I wish I could tell you the origins of the P38. I, I really can't. I don't know who invented it. Um, I've always just contended that it was God's gift to the U.S. military because uh, you can't open your sea rations without them. And they used to come, uh, four of them, in a crate of 12 sea rations. And uh, everyone always wanted to get a hold of the P38. It's got all sorts of nicknames. The one I always hear most often is a, a John Wayne. Um, I've always just called it a P-38. I know there's a bigger one that's called a P-51, and I know that's a takeoff of the uh, P-51 Mustang, uh, but the P-38 was not named after the P-38 Lightning uh, because of anything. It also doesn't mean that it took 38 uh, uh, twists of your wrist to get a can open uh, with it or anything like that. Uh, it just got the name P-38. It must have been some kind of stock number or something that was given to it. In any case, uh, let's take a look at the P-38, what I contend to be one heck of an ingenious little multi-tool. You can do a lot more with it than just open a can. I'll probably get interrupted by the cat, even though this isn't a can of tuna. Um, but I knew if I would have started with a can of tuna, I would be interrupted right away. Try it as a can opener. Big can. Go away, kitty cat. I know she's going to come up here. She hears the can opener, so she assumes there's food for her. Here. It's a cat call, too. You want a cat? Open a can. I would say don't try this at home, but definitely try this at home. If you got a P38, you can open up just about any kind of can. Inch and a half long, about three quarters of an inch wide, wonderful little sharp blade. This was like God's gift to the United States Army. The P38 can open just about any size can. It really doesn't matter. Okay, so you can uh, open a big can with the P38. That really doesn't make it a multi-tool. But what else can you do with a multi Oh, man. Can't go around doing videos with dirty fingernails. Got to get all that crud out from under there. I thought doing some gardening, got a bunch of mud under my fingernails. You guys don't need to see that stuff, right? Fortunately, I got my P38 with me so I can clean my fingernails. So that's one of the first things. It's a great personal grooming tool. Yeah, P38, you can clean your fingernails with it. And then got this uh, staple in my wood. I don't need that there. Let's see if we can pry it up with my P38. Of course we can. It's easier to do when I'm not filming. But you just keep twisting and turning and eventually you'll get it up. Yeah, see? Then once you get the one side up, you just get it with the whole part there. Pull the rest of that thing out. Of course, it's going to be a problem today.
this was not your normal staple but got it all the way out what I usually use it for is these little things I put a lot of cup hooks in and it really hurts your fingers to keep turning these things not with a P38 just slip it on turn it either way turn it in turn it out Felix Emler does stuff better than I do when he's doing this stuff. But yeah, you can get the cup hooks out with it. And obviously a regular flathead screwdriver, no problem. Just get your P38 on there and give it a turn. Now let's say it's really in there tight, because this is pretty loose and it's usually good for light uh, duty screwdriving. You don't want to do it with anything real heavy, but if it is in there pretty tight and you don't have a proper screwdriver with you you can grab a pair of pliers and get it down there and like so and then you can tighten it up even more uh, but the P38 is not um, a really heavy duty uh, steel gauge it's a it's a lightweight it's it's a soft metal so you really can't do a whole lot of real tight turning with it but you can get it more than hand tight by putting it in a pair of pliers and giving it a turn so if you don't have a flathead screwdriver and all you have is a pair of pliers use your p38 oh that's a phillips hmm that's all right get it on the corner and give it a turn. The P38's corner edge here will fit a uh, a number two Phillips with no problem. It'll even fit a number one Phillips. Now I know a lot of you are thinking how often is a person going to end up with a pair of pliers but not a screwdriver. All I can say is that it did happen and I ended up doing this and it did work. Um, but more often you'll probably end up without a screwdriver but have your knife on you. Yeah, after all, this is a knife channel. And if you got like a modern folder like this uh, Kershaw here, you can also take the P38 and stick it down in the back side of the knife and use that for your torquing portion. So you can get a better torque on the, uh, the tip using your, your knife to turn it with. Um, also, if you're out in the wilderness, you can always notch a piece of wood. I suppose you can notch it in the end here and then slip it in this way. I find it easier just to notch the wood like so with a saw or something and shove it down in there and then hold it, usually with a gloved hand, and then you can torque it this way by turning the wood. And finally, uh, if you don't have wood, don't have a way to saw or anything else, but you just have a slip joint knife, this is a, uh, a uh, Case um, Sodbuster Junior. You can uh, wrap a cloth around the blade so you don't cut yourself and slip the, uh, the tip of the uh, P38 into the groove or the channel of the, uh, where the blade goes and use that for your uh, screwdriver tip. Beats using the blade of your knife. Why ruin the blade of your knife when you could uh, use the tip of a P38? So those are a couple ways to improve the torque on your uh, P38 when using it as a screwdriver. You got that dirty uh, uh, spark plug? Use your P38 for cleaning. You can get all the crud out of there with your P38 and do some scraping and everything else get all the carbon build up off of it and if the gap isn't quite right go ahead get in there with your p38 open it up by pulling it down like so or if it's got to be a thinner one you can always use your blade here so your blade on your p38 is not as wide as the handle so you have two different gauges you can set for your spark plug and if it's too much tap it back down and then start all over again but yeah 
your P38 for a spark plug tool, your P38 for a pry bar for even deep staples. That was a half inch uh, staple from a staple gun and also loosening and tightening uh, any kind of Phillips or flathead screwdriver. Really doesn't matter. You can do it with your P38. So to me, that makes the P38 a multi-tool. You can do more than one thing with it. You can tighten screws, you can clean spark plugs, you can clean your, you can do your personal grooming, and you can open a can with it. A lot more things you can do with it than you think. And I've even heard of people using it as a spoon for uh, fishing, using it as a, uh, as uh, something to hook onto a fishing line because they didn't have any proper bait or anything, and they open it up and throw it in the water, and as it moves around, it's just a spoon. Uh, any case, think about it. P38, a lot more uses than you'd ever think. So yeah, it's a pretty ingenious multi-tool. Thank you for visiting Knife Chats. I hope you enjoyed your time here. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel and ringing that notification bell so that you will be notified when the next episode of Knife Chats is up online. Thanks again. See you soon.